The Wolves are enjoying a turnaround season, and this newcomer has had a lot to do with it. We're talking with J.J. Barea. Chef C is in the house. Sushi's on the plate. Tells us why it's one of the most popular items in the city. Ready or not, it's time to take the plunge. We'd love for you to join us. And Caleb's Code Drive is a success. Details on how you can still help. It's all ahead. It's Game On. In the heart of Minneapolis, you found us. Game On, powered by Seven Steakhouse, Sushi Ultra Lounge, and Sky Bar downtown's ultimate event destination where every seat is the best seat in the house. Great to have you along with us. It's game day, it's Sunday. Rod Simons here, game on, powered by seven. Lots happening. Seasons are trying to change on us. It's March Madness on all levels, and we're talking a lot of basketball today. Baseball's also on our radar. We'll be telling you about some upcoming twin specials that we have slow cooking for you. But as you know, we always start game on by the numbers. And when we look at the numbers, it's clear spring has sprung. Twins camp is open despite what we see outside. Wolves test is here with four straight Western showdowns looming. The NFL combines are done and now the Vikings will prepare for next, selecting third in the upcoming NFL draft. And now it's time to meet one of the busiest basketball players in the world. Not only is JJ Barea keeping time with the Minnesota Timberwolves on this lockout shortened season, but he's a new dad. He's burning the candle at both ends. Sitting with one of the newest Timberwolves free agent acquisition, J.J. Beret. Great to have you here. Oh, I appreciate it. What has it been like for you coming in from an NBA championship into an area where there's been a lot of losing and now you guys are turning it all around and we're seeing the fruits of your labor? Well, it's, it's different. Yeah. It's totally different. It's a new... New year with a new team and uh, different. We, I, I was an older team in Dallas. I was one of the youngest. Here I'm one of the oldest, and I'm 27. So, but no, but it's been fun so far. I've been a little injured at the beginning, but now I'm, I'm getting healthy again and helping this team win. And hey, right, we're turning things around here, so that makes it fun. Let's talk about your health for a minute, because you have been nicked up, and hamstrings yeah. are tricky, especially yeah. in cold weather like we have. Because <laughs> you're used to you know Puerto yeah, Rico yeah, yeah. and Dallas, where it's always sunny. I know. Are you okay? Are you getting there, or where I'm, are you? I'm getting there. I still don't have. I don't feel like I. I'm, I don't have my explosiveness like 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 I used to. But it's getting there. Uh, I never dealt with a hamstring before, so they're, you got to be patient yeah. with them. But I feel I'm feeling good. So so we'll see where it goes. You know the thing I loved about you, and and, and still do, and loved watching you against uh, in, in the NBA championships yeah. last year against the Heat. Uh, what's you don't take no for an answer. You drive on anybody. They could be 10 feet tall, and you still think you're going to get to the yeah. hole. Well, that's, yeah, that's what I love to do. That's what I've been doing all my life, and, and that's why I like basketball. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be aggressive every night and try to play my game every night. And sometimes it's going to be good nights. Sometimes you're going to have bad nights, but it's basketball. Why did you pick Minnesota, out of curiosity? Well, I... They were the ones that wanted me the most. Yeah. Uh, it was a young team that I knew we had a lot of talent. Uh, so it was just, it wasn't that hard really. It just, they, they told me they wanted me. We, I sat down and talked to them for, for a little bit. A coach gave me a call and I was, I was in. Did you like the fact that Coach Adelman and Sigma and Porter and no, John no and all these guys? Adelman was a, was a real, the, the, this, this offensive system he plays in, the freedom he gets to the point guards. And to the players, it was it was important for me. Yeah. Nice. Before we go to our break, I got to ask you one. Just the other day, you hit that shot from who knows where, from downtown. Oh, yeah. What was going through your mind when you popped that? I don't know. I was just trying to get it there. I know I was I was far. Come and on the, the now. The chocolate was going down, so I was like, let me get it there and give it a chance, and I gave it a chance and went in. It, it's that kind of thing that has fans going crazy here. You yeah. know that. I know. Yeah. And you and like what's what's happening? Oh yeah, I like the, the fans. And the, they're they're great. They're they're getting they're into it. They're they're helping us out. And when Ricky throws one of those passes, when D. Will dunks one, or when you hit from downtown, I think they're bored when already about Kevin getting double double. He gets a double double every night. No, but it's a, it's a fun team, yeah. man, and, and we'll see what happens. Nice stuff. Hang with us. Yep. JJ and Rod will have more here on Game On. Don't forget, you can always stay connected with us and catch up to your latest teams on our site. It's GameOnTVMN.com. Great blogs. The Vikings covered by Shockers Locker. Brandon on Baseball is back. We're talking Wolves, Wild, MMA as well. And we link you to our Viking partner site, PurplePly.org. Please check us out. It's GameOnTVMN.com. 
Fans always have a voice here on Game On, Voice of the Fan, brought to us by PurplePride.org. I, I think that I personally should have made the commitment to Kevin Love because I don't think Ricky Rubio is going to be is able to someone you're going to build around. You're going to build around Kevin Love or anybody, so he should have gotten the five-year deal sure. instead of the four-year so that you're showing the commitment to your star player. Yeah. Um, Ricky Rubio is unproven, and you're basically, by not giving Kevin Love that fifth year, you're putting your money on Ricky Rubio. Party started, dial it. Pit bull together with Bud Light. Here we go. Are you looking for some great entertainment at an affordable price? The Timberwolves Meal Deal is a great way to save money and see great NBA action. For just $20, you get an $18 ticket, a hot dog, chips, and a small Pepsi. Don't miss your chance to see Kevin Love, Michael Beasley, Derek Williams, and Ricky Rubio battle some of the NBA's best. For the Timberwolves schedule and to purchase tickets, go to Timberwolves.com. The Minnesota Timberwolves, united we run. Seven is the ultimate fine dining and entertainment destination. There's three levels of distinct and unforgettable experiences ahead. Seven is the winner of the prestigious Open Table Diner's Choice Award. It's memorable. You'll never forget Seven's five-star steakhouse. Seven's award-winning menu. Seven Sushi is not only unique, but unrivaled. And Seven's view is sweeping and magnificent year-round. Seven offers catering, the ease of front door valet, and unforgettable service. It's Seven, downtown Minneapolis, your ultimate event destination. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by Seven, your ultimate event destination. Rod and JJ Barea, one of the newest most exciting Timberwolves on the team. You have a new addition in the family. Tell us about little Sebastian. Yeah, the first, you know, the first, my first son, uh, Sebastian Jose. He was born at the 17. Yeah. Last week, I, we were in Houston, so I had to come over. You had to hightail home. I had to miss that game and come over here and, and watch, him, watch him be born. It's pretty, pretty. Oh, it's amazing. It's something special. Uh, my family. My, my my girlfriend, uh, everybody's so happy, and, and he's great, so yeah. we're just having fun. Sleep? Forgotten about sleep? or? Is yeah, he... well, the first couple of days were tough. Uh, yeah. I try to, I try to, <laughs> if we have a game the next day, yeah. I, I told her, I'll wake up, I'll, I'll wake up, and I'll change the diaper, nice. and then I'll give it to her, and then that's, yeah. that's, that's all year now. I used to love diaper duty when yeah, my just, little Annie was. I just change the diaper yeah. real quick, clean him up, and then yeah. hand it over, and I'll go back to sleep. Sometimes wear the mask yeah. if, it's, if it's too bad. Yeah. This team, you know, a lot of people here have been star. Well, you played against this team last year. You were yeah, yeah. Own, The Mavericks were owning the Wolves. Yeah, yeah. What has changed so teams can't think that way about you guys anymore? Well, we know we can win. You know, we know we can win. We know what we have to do to win games. We got to get ready. We got to stay focused. Like last year, I remember they've been playing good for like three quarters. Yeah. And then oh, in the yeah. end, they just go way down. But I think this year we're doing a better job. We got some new talent in. And I think we're we hungrier. I think we're hungrier. Yeah. We know we can win, and we're trying to win. Does it help that you know how to win, and Rubio knows how to win, and Love has that fire? No question. Uh, you guys have a nucleus now that other guy, other teams can't look oh, and, no, and pass yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, we, we're trying to win. We've got winners here. Uh, Adelman is a winner. Yes, The he coaching is. staff yeah. is a winner. So so that's why you, we need to, around here in the locker room, we talk about winning every day, and that's what we got to do. You know, I, I, I was looking over some notes from the season, and I can just imagine that going to Dallas – Getting that big honking ring and win it was pretty oh, cool. Oh, it was awesome. It was awesome. Even, I wasn't even playing and I was loving it. I was screaming in the bench. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, we, we played them good this year and uh, it was exciting to get my ring and get a win over there. It was a special. You know what a lot of fans in these stands are thinking? They like you, they love you because you said, I'll play in Minnesota because there's been, a, and you've heard this, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of talk by a lot of the media types that say uh, they'll never come to Minnesota because it's too just too dang cold or some, or, or well, another reason. Yeah, but the, the way I'm seeing it, it, things are looking really good here in Minnesota. Yeah. I think more players are going to want to come over here. Uh, 
my 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 experience so far is, is great. Yeah. They treat me really good anywhere I go, so I'm yeah. I'm enjoying it. And Sebastian was born in Minnesota. Sebastian is a Minnesotian. It's awesome. Minnesota Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep up yeah. the good work. Thank you for being uh, with us. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you. JJ in the house, only here on Game Up. Don't forget to keep up with the Wolves and the NBA with my weekly blog at Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. We keep you connected to everything inside the team. It's a great NBA website, all at your fingertips. It's interactive too. So drop me a note, rod at gameontvmn.com. And look for a new Simon Says blog every Thursday at Timberwolves.com. Fans are back. Sound off time and voice of the fan brought to us by purplepride.org. It could be. I mean, it really could be. They, I think they, I think they're for real, you know? They, they're doing better. They're doing better than I've ever seen. I, I was, I just moved here. I know they were terrible beforehand. They were, they were, they're back. But you know, this time around, we'll see how it goes. Ever feel like you're missing out on mobile internet because smartphone plans cost too much? T-Mobile's here to help with America's largest 4G network, Facebook. <laughs> Gaming, entertainment, T-Mobile gives you all this for just $49.99. Introducing T-Mobile's best plan ever. Unlimited data, talk, and text. Two lines, just $49.99 each for a limited time. From America's largest 4G network, T-Mobile. Check out our latest 4G smartphones, like the HTC Sensation and the MyTouch 4G Slide. We don't play lacrosse for the money, the fame, or the perks. We play lacrosse for the brotherhood, the thrill, the love of the game. We are your Minnesota Swarm. And we are ready to work. Your Minnesota Swarm are back in town Friday, March 30th at 7.30 p.m. to take on the Calgary Roughnecks on Treasure Island Field at XL Energy Center. Reserve your seats now at mnswarm.com. Ford-Bid.com. New online auctions and inventory running weekly at Ford-Bid.com. Liquidation for Minnesota businesses. Vehicle auctions at Ford-Bid.com. Office equipment auctions at Ford-Bid.com. Marine and boating auctions at Ford-Bid.com. Always looking for consignments. Contact Jeff at Ford-Bid.com. Don't get lost in those huge international sites. Keep it local. Keep it easy at Ford-Bid.com. New online auctions and inventory running weekly at Ford-Bid.com. It is Cooking with Chef C. If you come to Seven, you know their steaks are the best, and so is the sushi. What do we have here as we have Viking royalty alongside? We actually combine the best of both worlds here. We have Kobe steak. Uh, so Kobe steak is known throughout the world as the best cut of beef that you can get. Right. They actually live a better life than us. They get massaged daily. They get fed beer every day. Goodness On sakes. the hour, they get like meditation music. Nice. This is like well, a very nice, nice life. Yeah, and right. so we did that, we uh, sliced some of that on top. We put some lobster in the middle, some uh, tempura shrimp, some avocado, and some pickled vegetables. Any wasabi to be found anywhere in here? No, there's a little bit of Thai uh, red chili pepper sauce on top. Uh, that's why I brought the waters out for you. Okay, let's dig in. Cut this up? Uh, can no? we use chopsticks instead there? Uh, big I suppose. Goodness <laughs> sakes. Okay, let's dig in. I'll, I'll, I'll put some out on the plates for you guys. Thank you. Good. You don't always have to use chopsticks. You know, you can use your hands if you're well, that kind of guy. If you're a Viking oh, yeah. World Order member, sure. you do whatever you want. Yes. No, nothing funny like uh, Vasante ate when he was on. <laughs> That's right. Shenko was a little out of control, wasn't he? Mm, good farm. This is good. Yeah, it's nice. Nice job, Chef C. Thank you. You got to come tailgate with us. I'd love to. If you love sushi, there's special days to come here. Even beyond the regular day. Sundays and Mondays, if, if you're a sushi eater and you like to eat a lot of it, uh, Sunday and Monday we do all you can eat sushi. And you can uh, check out our website for more details. Um, sometimes we do some special rolls. This chef, this is actually not on the menu, but our sushi chef Wes creates stuff all the time. And you he guys are always in contact about creating new elements to the menu. Absolutely, you know, we're, we're really looking to push the envelope when it comes to sushi and steak and some cool. fusion and, and some fun things and you know not everyone likes raw fish and sushi doesn't have to be that you mm -hmm. know the actual definition is vinegar pickled rice so really the sky's the limit we're working on a spam roll we're working on a, a bunch of different fun things so now i'm told there's a japanese word for the adventurous sushi eater what are we talking about well it's omakase and what we do here at seven that's unique is 
we have some ingredients that other people do not have. They do not bring it in. We fly it in special for us, and our chefs love to create anything. Yeah. And what you can do is just tell them what you like, spicy, sweet, uh, cooked, not cooked, big, small, whatever, and they will create the entire meal for you, start to finish, and you will have the most amazing experience. So a boring sushi eater like me will come in and everything's pretty much laid out for me. But if I'm an adventurous one that wants something created that no one else eats. Absolutely, you just tell us what direction you want to go and we will take your experience to another level. A little Chicago bear meat maybe? We could, we could definitely do some Chicago yeah. bear meat. Maybe some uh, cheese head stuff cheese in heads. there, you know? Leg of lion. Yeah. All right. Leg of lion. We're going to leave it right there since you got the entire division yeah. tucked in nice and, whew, and watch that sword. Only here, Cooking with Chef C on Game On. Here's your Wheels of Thunder week ahead. The Wolves get the LA Clippers on March 5th. The Angels will be the home opener for the Twins on April 9th. The NFL Draft in April for the Vikings. And the Wild get San Jose later on today at the X. The Swarm in Calgary March 30th. There's your Gopher hockey schedule against Wisconsin. Gopher men at Wisconsin on the 28th. And the women open the Big Ten tournament March 1st. Star soccer at the Dome on April 7th. PGA Tour is in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, and NASCAR on March 4th. Wheels of Thunder, March 4th in Fargo. Don't forget at 7, complimentary drink every Wolves game when you show your game day ticket. If you've never been to 7, sample the menu for only 30 bucks and a new cigar program up in the heated sky bar where we sit each and every show. Find it all at 7NPLS.com. Fans always have the last word. Voice of the Fan brought to us by PurplePride.org. Uh, I will give them playoff potential. I'll definitely give them eight, seven seed. They have that in them. I don't know if they'll advance far, but they, they, they're definitely in the, the upper echelon of, of the NBA. On deck, it's DT talking gopher football only here on Game On. Hey, Dave, we're out of Bud Light. Oh, good thing I just downloaded this app. Here we go. It's the sure sign of a good time. Just right taste of Bud Light. Here we go. Nice app. I gotta get a new phone. Hi, this is Brian Layton of GB Layton. Welcome to your nightouttwincities.com. We are excited to bring the newest, the most comprehensive local entertainment website to the Twin Cities and the surrounding communities. This is the most affordable way to promote your business, bar none. With a few clicks, the perfect night or day is planned. Restaurants, accommodations, nightclubs, bands, entertainment, events, specials, and more. Fast, easy, and fun. Your night out is in the palm of your hand. Twin City Wireless doesn't care about our competitors. We care about you, the customer. We care that you get the best prices. Plans starting at $40 a month, unlimited text, talk, international text, and internet. Twin Cities Wireless carries all the latest models of phones and accessories and handles all service providers. At Twin City Wireless, your problem is our problem. Twin City Wireless now has two locations, Brooklyn Center and Northeast Minneapolis. Twin City Wireless is not just business, it's personal. It is our superstar segment, Daryl Thompson. You know this gopher. How are you, sir? Good to have you in the house. Outstanding. Thanks for having me, Ryan. Nice to have you here. When we talk about gopher football, everybody's chomping at the bit to have a winning program. Let's start, first of all, with the recruiting class, your, your opinion of them. No, I, I think it's a good class. They got just about everybody they wanted to get. You know, they got the big lineman from Blue Earth, and they got some other kids, the Mankato kid, and the kid from Lakeville, the quarterback. So, I mean, I think that um, it's something to build on, and they feel like underneath that, they got a lot of the kids they want to get in. They feel like even through the junior college transfers, yeah. that they got a lot of the pieces of the puzzle are starting to come into place. Now, I don't think that next year they're going to go 12-0, and 0, right. you know, win a national championship, yeah. but I think that the pieces are starting to get in place. Can you tell how anxious people are to, especially the Gopher faithful, to have a winning program? Oh my goodness, yeah. I mean, I hear about it all the time. Oh, I've been I bet um, you do. doing the broadcast in almost 15 years, which is amazing and a blessing. But um, I hear it all the time, and I do feel like, and we've had these, this roller coaster, and I feel like right now we're on the uptick. 
with um, with Coach Kill, and I feel like it's healthy. There's there's a lot of continuity with the staff, zero turnover, you know, and um, I think for the that, first time in a long time. Yep, yeah, for the first time in a long time, and I think that uh, the program is really going in the right direction. You know this team better than most people. Marquise Gray, your thoughts? He's a talent, and I'm glad he's not playing receiver anymore. Nice. I think the best place for him is, is quarterback. If if my best football player can throw the ball, he's going to play quarterback. I think I heard someone say, well, he might play quarter, he might play receiver in the NFL. I said, oh, really? Yeah. I said, you know, there's a lot of guys that play receiver in the NFL that played quarterback in college, Cordell Stewart and Randall L and all these people. I said, but they were awesome quarterbacks in college. Yeah. If my best guy can play quarterback, he's going to play quarterback and he is dynamic I mean maybe the best quarterback since Ricky Foggy and before that maybe even Sandy Stevens wow. nice high praise by the way he deserves it let's talk about off the field you may not know this but you're as active with the Gophers off the field in terms of Boulder options tell us about what you do in the community well, you know, Boulder Options is something I'm um, very passionate about. I've been involved with the Boulder Options for the last almost 19 years. Wow. And what we are is an activity-based mentoring program. We do running, biking, homework. We're an activity-based mentoring program trying to introduce kids to a healthy lifestyle. lifestyle. And it's important because a lot of kids in this very fast-paced age we live in, those are things that are kind of sometimes left on the table for them. Oh, no question. Left on the table. We were approached last year. We merged with an organization called Partnering for Youth about expanding our mission. Right. And not only working with kids 10 to 14, but over the entire continual care to start to introduce kids a healthy lifestyle, introduce a healthy conscience so they nice. understand that their actions have a reaction out in society. So we're, you know, we're really looking at trying to make an impact on kids all over in this community. The key is not to forget any one kid out there. No, we can't forget about any one kid because that can be the kid That's that awesome. can be the next president, or he can be our next person that you know sticks someone up at a corner. And I'd much rather have him be the president of a corporation, run a company, or invite me to, which is my favorite story, is when a young person invites me back to their child's birthday party. That's I went to the first birthday party for a child 10 years ago, and I went to the 10th birthday party for the first kid that I signed up just last summer. Uh, that's all. Congratulations for all the good things you've Thank done. you very much. And if people me. want to find out more about Boulder Options, how do they do that? Boulderoptions.org or just Google me and it's uh, pretty, pretty easy to find. It does come up. Yeah, it does. It, it does. It's scary. <laughs> DT, in the house, only here on Game On. Each and every week we take note of the Game On standout of the week. We call it the Dip Shop Real Deal. And nice to see a little effort on Hockey Day in America. It's the wild get past Boston. This doesn't come close to curing the eels of the collective cliff jump that the Wild have done since the holidays, but it's an okay start. Winning does make things better. And for that effort, the Wild are our real deal. It's a taste delight that awaits you. Check it out. It's the new dip shop. That's two P's, the D-I-P-P shop.com. On deck, big things ahead, including Hollywood's hockey exclusive. It's here. I'll tell you about it on Game On. Ever feel like you're missing out on mobile internet because smartphone plans cost too much? T-Mobile's here to help. With America's largest 4G network, Facebook, <laughs> gaming, entertainment, T-Mobile gives you all this for just $49.99. Introducing T-Mobile's best plan ever. Unlimited data, talk, and text. Two lines, just $49.99 each for a limited time. From America's largest 4G network, T-Mobile. Check out our latest 4G smartphones like the HTC Sensation and the MyTouch 4G Slide. Being creative is who we are. At Wallingburg and Deeply, families are our passion. We help create new families. This combination of experience, passion, and creativity allows us to fully represent individuals in family court crises. Wallingburg and Deeply believes in families. We will listen, counsel, and advocate for you. Wallingburg and Deeply, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by Seven, your ultimate event destination. Time now for our Game On update. High five to Kevin Love for spearheading his coat drive that delivered thousands of new coats to those in need here in our area. Just days ago, the all-star forward made that drop at the Salvation Army. You can still help him. Go to the Salvation Army website or give him a call. Spring has sprung. Baseball is back. And don't forget, Seven's your favorite pre- and post-game twin spot. And we're going to be bringing you two exclusive Twins preview shows in just the next few weeks. We're back from a premiere of the hilarious hockey satire called Goon. 
the story of a bouncer who draws attention of a minor league hockey coach and then finds himself as an on-ice enforcer. It has deep Minnesota roots this coming Sunday, an exclusive game on sneak peek of the new movie, Goon. Join me, I'm doing it, the Polar Bear Plunge presented by the Minnesota Law Enforcement Agencies to help Special Olympics. I'm gonna be joining hundreds of folks jumping into Lake Calhoun's frigid waters. Join us, there's a link on our website, it's March 3rd. And thanks to the Alumni Club of Pi Beta Phi, the Pi Phi's National is promoting literacy and in partnership with First Book, I was honored to read to kids. We did it at Creative Kid Stuff at the West End. A readathon is not only raising money for First Book, but it promotes literacy by reading to the children. Great time. All this linked at our website, GameOnTVMN.com, and that's your Game On update. We'd love to have you join us for a live Game On taping here at 7 Downtown. Go to our website for all the up-to-date lists. Kevin Love will be joining us. We're going to have the North Star Reunion. Fox 9's Ian Leonard and the Power Trip Morning Show hosts will be here as well. Stay in touch via Facebook and Twitter. All our shows are on iTunes too. It's Game On TV. It is time for the Mayak Minute. Steve Carroll from the Gustavus Hockey Program, the assistant coach. Great to have you, coach. Thanks, Rob. Your brother is the head coach who yep. recently had his 200th coaching victory. We told him we'd give him a, a little bit of a shout out. That's kind of cool. Brother wins that that many games. Yeah, it was really neat. We, we beat St. Thomas the other night, and, and it was his 200th career conference win, which is uh, wow. the most ever in, in conference history. And our niece is also on the team, and she captured the game puck and gave it to him after the game. It was pretty cool. When you talk about Gustavus women's hockey, this is a dynasty, to be honest. Eighth title in a row. My numbers tell me if I'm wrong, but something like 10 in the last 12 years who've been victorious in terms of the conference title. Yeah, we've 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 done really well in the in, in conference play. You know, we're we're fortunate to have um, highly motivated student athletes who do well in the classroom and right. excel on the ice uh, on the ice, and they're eager to learn. They show up to practice wanting to get better, and and it certainly paid off. And it's just not in the conference run. You you do it in the extended postseason as well. Well, the last two years we've been to the, the final four for Division Three women's hockey. It's 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 been awesome, and and we uh, as it turned out we lost in the uh, the semifinal games to the eventual national champions. So um, maybe this year things will be different, but it's been going really well for our team. We're going to be keeping an eye on you. Appreciate that. That title looks good, and you can always get the updates on the Mayak at the website right here, Mayak Online. And that includes Gustavus Women's Hockey. Coach, and give your brother our best. I will do that. Congratulations as well. Only here in the Mayak Minute. And that is it for us. Thank you for letting us be a part of your Sunday. Don't forget, you can always get our updates at GameOnTVMN.com. And before we leave, a final farewell to my buddy of the last 11 years. I lost Coda Blue a couple of days ago in our little corner of the world. Coda was the dog of dogs my buddy. I'll miss our walks. I'll miss him with our little Annie. I'll miss him every day. Coda, this one's for you. We love you. And thank you for being with us. See you next week. Keep your game on.